Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we took our first steps into the Cave of Ordeals. And we're on the floor I don't know right now. It's probably going to be up on screen or whatever. But we are going to continue on through the depths of this dungeon. Because I can't save and quit without, uh... Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh I can't save and quit without uh, restarting the entire dungeon, and we're not at the bottom yet. Get out of here. Well, that takes care of those guys. Attack. Really, uh. Really hit. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's one way to take these guys out, I guess. Come on. Usually, I have to struggle with these guys. But, uh... They seem to take them out pretty good well. Without worrying about their scream. Oh, what the... Bruh. Stop that. None of that. I think there's actually a buried spot on this floor. Maybe not. Alright. Right, the human. Oh. Good. Take these guys out with one bomb. Yes. And I really should check to make sure there isn't hearts here. No hearts. Alright. So what's going on in this room? I see... Spiders. Spiders and these. Come down here, sir. Thank you.
Enough with the spiders. Alright, what's next? It's a lot of crap down there. Let's see if we've got, uh, got some parts up here. empty. <laughs> Two floors in a row with with that. What is this? I cannot kill these things. Without fighting them. Playing golf. No, you don't. Merry Christmas. we got going on down here. We're going to grab this real quick. The Happy Midna Stamp! Hello again. impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Elden Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to become master of lifeless statues. If you want to give up the fight for now and re go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Unfortunately, we do not have that power yet, so... We're going to have to leave... Hero, would you like to return to the surface to prepare? Yes. If you return to the surface, you will have to face the ordeals from the beginning should you ever return. Do you still want to go? Unfortunately, yes. I understand. I shall take you to a spring where the fairies wait. And we will be dumped in Kakariga Village. And there are now fairies here for us to collect whenever we need to. 
Unfortunately, that's as far into the Cave of Ordeals as we can go, because we're going to need to finish the next two dungeons to get anywhere near, uh, any further. So... What do we do now? Well, I suppose we could make some progress. To the next location. I can't warp here. I did not mean to turn into a wolf. Now let's see. We need to go to the Faron province to North Faron Woods. back into a human. There is a person. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. I knew you would come. I have heard of your brave acts from Telma. I have known her circle of friends since my youth, and of late we have begun to work toward a common goal. So, let me tell you a story. Do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I am sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Yes. <laughs> I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Your partner? Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. All right, we'll pick up your golden cuckoo. Let's see, where's our next point of location? I think it's over there. Here, across here. The things we use to get to um, our method of getting to here as a wolf is no longer feasible. So we need to um, actually hold up a second. I've never done this before. Can I talk to you? Twinkle, twinkle, little cuckoo. I am gold, but not for you. Ooh. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fly over here. Drop the chicken. Pick up the cuckoo again. Through here. Gap. Jump the gap. Here's the howling stone again. Thank you. Welcome back to the sacred grove. But this time, our presence is immediately detected by our good buddy, the Skull Kid. You and your stupid puppets. Ah! 
We're going to want to get rid of these guys, mainly because I need the arrows. Because now the Skull Kid is going to be hiding in weird places. But I'm going to have to... Shoot at. Also, I've maxed out my wallet again. I can hear you. I think he's up above here. Where's he at? I hear you. Don't do that. You're up here somewhere. There you are. You'll also notice that it's nighttime, and now we have to follow him with his little lantern. Makes things a little easier to deal with, I guess. There's a Poe here. Can I get up there from here? Or do I have to go around? Get out of here. I think I have to go around. Where's he at? He's over here. I saw the light. Follow the light of the lantern. There he is. Gotcha. Okay, can I get to those, um, pose yet? Poe yet. I want to get that Poe as soon as I can. It's up there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, where are you, bub? You went this way, didn't you? Hiding. You hiding up here? You're hiding up here. Get out of here. Sweet marionettes. Are you up here? Are you over here? See your lantern glow. In there. What happens if I light these lanterns? Anything happen? Out of here with those stupid marionettes. All right. Hang on. Right, something happens if I like these. Sure enough. I think I just mortal draw those guys. <laughs> What's in here? 
bombs. Okay. But, wait a minute. Oh, there's another door here. Wait, but... I can hear you. I hear you, you stinker. Are you up here? There you are. Stop that. After him. He disappeared. Now the question is, how do I get to that Poe? Where is that Poe? I lost track of where that Poe was. It's in here. Oh, wait a minute. There's a spot behind the waterfall, isn't there? There sure is. to go to find Skullkid. Um. Hmm. Which way did he go? Well, that's the entrance. That's not where I need to be. Can't go that way. I followed him up here. Which means he's likely this way. That's the path into the sacred grove. He's in here. Hello. Became very pointed. Gotcha. This is going to be over very quickly. Stop summoning so many marionettes. Gotcha. Stop blowing your leaves everywhere. Gotcha. Hehehe, <laughs> that was fun. I'll tell you what, I'll let you into a secret place. And it just so happens that the secret place is, uh, somewhere we've kind of been before. In fact, if we come up here...
We're now up top of the Temple of Time. Get out of here. And we can push this block down. Which now enables us to climb up. There's also this third secret statue. The sacred ancient forest. So this was what they were talking about. Yes, and because of this block that we just pushed down, we can now climb back up here. I hear sparkly, sparkly. Why do I hear sparkly, sparkly? Sparkly, sparkly over here. No. Where is sparkly? I can hear it. Where is it? Oh, it's on the ceiling. You caught a male snail. Snail covers... Snail fans love that golden color. Check out caught bugs on the collection screen. There we go. So. Now that we're here. We can come up these stairs. To the sacred grove. Where the, tri where the master sword rested. Now we can use the Master Sword to strike this pedestal. Which will cause that statue to vanish. And reveal a secret door. So, what is this door, you may ask? Well, let's go see. Oop! Oh, not so fast. We got five bozos to deal with. What is going on? Bozos, get over here. There's one. There's two. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Everybody over here. Everybody in the party. There we go. And now we've got a quick warp back to the Temple of Time. There's a broken treasure chest here. I wonder why. Well, if we come up here, climb up, and check out this door. This door seems very monochrome. And passing through this door, Takes us to the Temple of Time of old. Now we can hear the sparkly sparkly. And the sparkly sparkly's on this one now. Somehow there's a snail in the past. You caught a female snail. But now there's this owl statue again. There's one over there too. Anybody got any patience to de de uh, decode what this says? I might do it for giggles, just to see what it says. But we come up here, 
This place should look familiar. I will strike this once again. Which will spawn a glowing staircase up to this window. And then, inexplicably, Uku, out of nowhere, runs up the stairs and reveals that the window is fake. So what is back here? This is our fifth dungeon, the Temple of Time, or, if you will, the Temple of Light. But we're all out of time, so next time in The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, we're going to venture into the Temple of Time. Till then... This is Xana520, signing out.